Hi everyone, welcome back to Summit Hydraulics, your go-to page for tractor hydraulics and such. Today we're excited to introduce to you our newest product line, which is going to be our top and tilt cylinder kits. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this. So the first thing we're going to tackle here is going to be our top link. To convert your tie rod into a hydraulic cylinder, there's going to be two critical dimensions that you're going to have to measure. First one being is the total extended length of the tie rod, and then you're going to need the total collapsed length of the tie rod. You'll notice that the tie rod on each side has a groove cut into the threads, which this indicates the extended part of the thread as far as you can go without damaging the tie rod when it's being in, in use. Um, so you'll want to extend both sides of the tie rod thread until you come to this unthreaded portion on both ends. Once you've done that, you'll take a measurement from center of eyelid to center of eyelid on each side from center to center, and that's gonna be your total extended length. So what we'll do is we'll take a measurement from center here. We'll go measurement center to the other side just roughly 30 and a half inches, right about 30 and a half. That's gonna give us our extended length. The next thing we'll do is we will collapse this tie rod completely. We'll take another center to center measurement that will give us our collapsed length and that will give us all the information that we need to be able to select the correct cylinder. Now you can see we've got the tie rod completely retracted. So there again, we're gonna take our measurement from center here, to center on this side. Go ahead and get our tape measure, grab that measurement now. This one was going to be 18 and a half, so we've got 30 and a half extended, 18 and a half retracted. So for the top link, that should be all the information needed uh, as far as the stroke length to be able to set you up with the proper size cylinder. So here you'll see that we have a couple of uh, side link rods. We're going to measure these similar or exactly the same as what we did with the top link. There are two different kinds that we have here. You'll notice this one just has one pin hole on each side. Uh, this one here has three separate pin holes along with the eyelid on the other side. What we recommend doing is using the longest the longest distance between each the tie rod hole and the pin hole on the other side. So we're going to take that measurement now. Just this particular one is 17 and a quarter while it's retracted. Go ahead and extend these. So say we're going to the center hole on the fork side, back to the ball joint. We are at 26 and three quarters. So we have our extended measurement, we have our retracted measurement, and then that will give us enough information to be able to select our side link cylinder. Once you have these measurements, go to our website, click on the hydraulic cylinders category, use our interactive attributes at the top of the page to select the measurements for the cylinder that you need. Our page filter on the listing will show what is recommended. Another good feature we have is you can put the model of your tractor in the search bar above. Um, and when you put the model number in there, it will bring up several listings and different options for your machine, which makes it very easy to be able to select the correct cylinders and kits that you're looking for. Okay, so that wraps up the video here on this one. This was just a quick little rundown just to kind of introduce you guys of what we got coming up in the future with these top and tilt kits. We will eventually have a installation video on these and we can go in more in depth detail on how to install these along with the hoses and everything like that. But for the time being, um, that's just what we got going on, something we're cooking up in the future. So look out for the, uh, the incoming installation video on these. Go ahead and slam that subscription button down below so you don't miss any of our future videos along with that installation video. And we look forward to seeing you guys again on the next one.